But here's two questions where we are asked to graph these functions and using the steps that they illustrate in the textbook. So to graph these, um, I like to find x-intercepts, and I like to find a y-intercept, and then also sort of know what um, the general look of the graph is, or those kind of things. Okay, so first off, I look at this one, and it's a quadratic. That's an x-squared. So that I know it's, it's an even number, so the graph has to start in one spot and end in, in uh, the same kind of direction. And this is positive, so the graph has to look like this. Okay? So I know what shape it is. Um, now let's see if I can factor it. So I think it's x plus 3, x take away 1. I think that's uh, the polynomial factored. So once it's factored, to find the x-intercepts, you set y of x uh, or h of x equal to 0. So 0 is equal to x plus 3 times x minus 1. And then solve this equation. It's equal to 0, so I can use the multiplication property or the 0 property. So h plus 3 is equal to 0 or x minus 1 is equal to 0. So this is x equals minus 3. This is x is equal to a positive 1. And these are my x-intercepts. My y-intercept is always that last number. So, if I'm going to graph, here's a graph. At negative 3, it crosses. And at a positive 1, it crosses. And it has a y-intercept of negative 3. Right there. So I have to impose this shape on those pieces. So I think the graph's going to look something like that. Okay, so that's that one. Let's try it. So I need to graph this polynomial. Okay, first thing, it's positive, and it's an odd number. So it's going to start low and end high. So the graph needs to look something like that. It also has a y-intercept a of a positive 72. So that's really high. Let me just put, why don't we call that 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So 72 right about there. Okay, to find x-intercepts, if I have uh, four terms like this, I'm going to group factor and just hope that factors are the same. So out of the first, I can take a 2x squared, leaves me with a 3x minus 4. Out of these, I think I can take a 9. So I'm going to take a negative 9 out, and that'll leave me with uh, 6x minus um, 8. Hold on, those aren't the same. Oh, but they're close. Maybe I could have taken more out than a, a 9. Why don't we try a bigger number? Maybe 18. 54 divided by 18, I think, is 3. And 72 divided by 4, I think, is 4. Let's take 18 out. So take 18 out, so that'll be a 3x and a minus 72 divided by, uh, whoops, 72 divided by 18 is 4. They're now, both of those are the same. So if they're the same, I can factor them out the front and then leave what's left there. Okay, feeling pretty good at this point. Uh, now, this is what f of x is equal to. But if I want to solve for the x-intercepts, I put a 0 in for uh, f of x. And then I need to solve each of these equations. So this first one, it'll be 3x minus 4 is 0. And this one will be 2x squared minus 18 is equal to 0. So the first one, I'll add 4 to both sides. Then I'll divide by 3. So it'll be 4 thirds. This one, I'll move the... 18 to the other side, divide by 2, and then square root. So it'll be a plus and a minus 3. So these are my three x-intercepts. Okay, so let's find them. So here's negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. There's one. Uh, 1, 2, 3. There's the other one. And there's one at 4 thirds, which is 1 and a third right about there. So now I have to impose this shape with all of those points. 
So I think it's going to look something like this. Okay. okay. Hopefully that helps you with those uh, graphing of um, polynomials.